In Bogota, Colombia, workers from a General Motors plant continue their protest outside the U.S. Embassy. Thirteen current and former workers from GM's Colmotores plant launched a hunger strike earlier this month after camping out outside the embassy for a year. Some have also sewn their mouths shut. The workers say they were dismissed from the factory after being injured on the job. GM denies the claims and says no worker has been dismissed due to health reasons. For more, we go to Bogota to speak with Austin Robles. He's with the group Witness for Peace and is at the site of the striking workers. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you for having me. Earlier this month, some of the striking workers sewed their mouths shut in protest. Some are on a hunger strike. Give us an update of the state of the workers and describe the scene there. Sure, it's pretty dismal right now. And they've had this shelter out here for a year and it's it's not anything that's very impressive. It's it's just plastic tarps uh, that are that are tied down to wooden slats on the on the bottom, so it doesn't flood when it rains. You feel the wind. Uh, I was, I slept in here with them. Uh, you feel the wind come through, and and you hear the cars and and all the noise that's out here. It's just not a nice place to be. Um, their their state since they they started sewing their mouths shut for them, so their mouths shut on August first, and a week later. It was on the 8th. Three more decided to sew their mouths shut. There, so there are seven with their mouths sewn shut, and there are six others who are on hunger strike um, without having sewn their mouths uh, closed. Explain what happened to these workers and what prompted this latest action. All these workers, most, almost all of them were dismissed. There are a couple who were still employed at the plant, but the ones who were dismissed, they incurred injuries while performing work at the plant but their, their injuries were not recognized as work-related. So you have 68 people within this association, most of them with the same sort of damage. They have uh, lumbar damage, rotator cuff syndrome, carpal tunnel. Uh, most of them had uh, spinal injuries and, and several surgeries. But even though almost all of their injuries are exactly the same and they've, they, they all worked for, for GM while they incurred these injuries, GM has been... Has, has asserted that they that they got these outside of the workplace, so they haven't paid medical benefits. And because these workers be, became disabled on the job, they were no longer to perform the work at the plant. So GM fired them, um, which, according to Colombian law, you're not allowed to fire disabled workers uh, at, at all. So uh, those were those were illegal firings. And what are the demands of the workers who are on strike? What are they calling for? Their, their basic demands, first, they want to be reintegrated into GM's workforce here. Uh, that's the, the main thing. They haven't been able to find work elsewhere. Um, and they feel that because they were wrongly terminated, GM owes it to them to, to keep hiring them and to put them in a position where they're able to perform labor at the plant and earn an income to support their families. They also want to uh, they want GM to, to cover medical benefits for them because the, the injuries were work-related. And since they've been on strike for, for a year, and some of these, these guys have been out of work for, for longer than that, they, they feel that GM owes it to them uh, to, to compensate them for the cost that they've incurred while they haven't been able to find work, and they've been uh, living out here on the street. You've outlined some of the demands of the workers. Now, some of the workers have also said that GM erased company medical records and failed to compensate employees who were injured on the job. That's in addition to, as you said, uh, the work, some of the workers being dismissed after being injured. Now, GM has denied that. Um, they released a statement where they said they have never uh, put the health or well-being of their employees at risk. And they say, quote, the company would like to reassure and reaffirm that no employee has been discharged for health reasons. Austin Robles, your response to uh, GM's take on this? Hey would respond saying that, that that would be nice to believe but all the evidence with, with these workers proves the the contrary. So they had in order to fire these workers they had to get those firings approved by the Ministry of Labor. The labor inspector who reviewed many of their cases was later found guilty of falsification of these of public documents in the in these very same cases. He was suspended for his work for 12 months, and uh, then then uh, a warrant was issued for his arrest for for these for these same cases. Uh, so there's obvious corruption there that's been recognized by the Colombian government, 
However, the cases that he oversaw do not get automatically overturned. You note the role of the Ministry of Labor, and and that brings up the role that both the Colombian and U.S. governments play in this and, and the responsibility they have. Both countries recently put into effect a free trade agreement, and in that uh, deal, they pledge to confront labor violations. The workers there are camped right outside the U.S. embassy. Why in that location, and why the U.S. government? They're outside the, the U.S. embassy because the United States government has a very unique role in this case. The, the United States twice bailed out General Motors, first with $20 billion under the Bush administration, later with $30 billion under the Obama administration. So that $50 billion total, and at the beginning of this year, it still had $25 billion invested in GM. That made, when, when those two payments were made to, to bail out GM, the U.S. government became uh, an owner in GM with, with 60% of its shares. So it became the largest shareholder. Uh, and it still remains one of the largest. So the United States hasn't shown that it has the political will to to stand up to GM here and, and improve labor rights records for a small group of 68 people. Uh, so it's hard to believe if the, that the free trade agreement or that the labor action plan would significantly improve labor rights the, on a national level if they can't do that with such a small group here in the capital. Austin Robles is with the group Witness for Peace. He joined us from Bogota, right outside the U.S. Embassy, where workers with General Motors are on strike. Austin Robles, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.